Hey everybody, I got my Logan 6560 spindle out and I'm getting ready to use the little Atlas 12 by 36 lathe to help polish up the spindle with some steel wool uh, before I inspect it. So I hope you enjoy this video. We're using the little lathe to fix up the bigger lathe. Here we have it set up with a four jaw chuck on this side, just lightly holding it not to crush in that end of the spindle. That's the, uh, the side by the drive pulley. And this is the chuck end, as you can see there. And basically what my goal is gonna be is um, this thing kind of sat out for a while in a not really protected environment. It was in an unheated garage. And some parts of the spindle, luckily this is there's nothing that rides here, but it's kind of nasty looking. And um, on the places that the barons do ride, I just like to take some triple off steel wool and just put it to it a little bit and get everything nice and clean and smooth. Not going to remove any material really with the triple out steel wool. So one thing when I'm polishing on the lathe, I don't want to get anything that's going to wrap around or pull my fingers in or anything like that. I've, you know, I've seen some people get bit on their thumb, use an emery cloth wrapped around and pinching it and it pulls them in. So I'm just going to basically fold up the steel wool and just kind of apply some pressure with my hand you know, up above where I'm polishing. And uh, that's a pretty safe way to do it. You see, it does try to grab, as you just saw. Because there's a key seat there. And the goal is not to remove material. I don't want to hurt the spindle. I'm just taking up some of this rust and crust and whatnot. Sometimes I like to spray a little bit of WD-40 on there. I, I think it helps the steel wool a little bit. This here is where the bearing, the two bearings ride near the chuck end large bearings and again I can see that this steel wool is not removing any material it's just kind of polishing it a little bit and I'm just pushing down to the light pressure that if something does grab the steel wool it's not gonna suck me in with it it's just gonna kick it off where those key seats are Sometimes if I was polishing with an emery cloth or something, which I wouldn't do on a spindle anyways, but if I was going to polish with something that was more abrasive, I'd probably lay down a couple of shop towels on the ways just to keep that abrasive stuff from going in there. Sometimes a little steel wool comes off, but it doesn't. That's something I could just brush away easily. So what we'll do is we'll just go over it. And then we'll shut the machine off and use a rag to wipe off some of the uh, rust that's been loosened up here. We'll take a good, better look at it. And I can mic the uh, mic the spindle just to make sure there's not too much wear. But the bearings were on there nice and tight. I don't think it's worn too bad. It doesn't look to be appear to be burnt or anything. If you remember my video when I did this at Atlas Craftsman, the uh, spindle bearings actually smelled burnt. They had been packed full of grease, which is a big no-no. Now here, as I get closer to the chuck, I'm just careful again. There's a key seat there, and I can feel it on the bottom of the steel wool. But just basically polishing. Keeping the RPMs low because I'm not holding the chuck super tight against the work and I didn't want to crush that down indicated it within a thousand just for the polishing purposes and then the bull nose uh, center there which I put oil on that because that's not a live center it's a form of a dead center so let me shut the lathe off and we'll see how this looks so it started to clean up pretty good. Um, 
there is some damage on different parts of this. You can see where it's a little bit pitted in here. Um, you can see the, there's some rust issues there. there. The lines here are where a gear inside the headstock uh, sits on there. It's key to the spindle and that engages with the back gear uh, for the slow, uh, the slow speeds. This is a variable speed drive lathe. But where the bearings actually ride, I'm pretty happy with how it looks so far. I'm gonna take a little bit more time in here, even though it's a non-critical area, just to make that look nice. I'll do a little bit more in here. I might even break out a very, very fine grade of emery cloth, just to touch that a little bit. Um, haven't decided yet, but hopefully you enjoyed seeing me uh, polish the spindle on this uh, from the Logan 6560 and give you some ideas of some easy little jobs you can do on your lathe.